Hi guys, it's Bridget, and I hope you're having a wonderful week. Um, I wanted to quickly share with you this project that I've been working on, and these are just some um, practice or um, what do you call it, like examples that I wanted to try before I really made them into either ornaments or garlands. Um, this is the newest um, paper tray ink make it market kit. Uh, there is another one coming out October 1st, but this was released on September 1st. And um, I don't know, some of you guys know, um, for those of you who don't know, I've been a longtime fan of paper tray ink. Um, I'm obsessed with dyes in general, but uh, you can't go wrong with the quality and the products that Paper Tray Ink sells. So, and their designers are just fabulous. Um, one of my favorites actually is um, uh, Melissa, and she has a blog that I go to every single day without fail just to get some inspiration. Um, but anyway, they're a fabulous company, and they have great customer service, fast shipping, and, um, you know, good quality products. So I got the latest, which um, cuts out these two and a star. Here is the star. So this is, I think, called the Stitched Holiday, and it came in this um, super huge bag this canvas bag that you can um, easily alter and it also came with this container and the beads and sequins were already um, in here so you have sequins, seed beads, um, bugle beads and uh, or trumpet beads, bugle beads so a variety of those and I happen to use um, their felt, paper tray ink felt, but I am also a big fan of MFT's felt. Um, what I like about paper tray ink felt is that it comes in a roll like this, and um, it's five by 30 inches, so it's easy to store this way rather than the sheets, but both companies give um, beautiful quality. So the shapes that I cut out so far are the, um, uh, oh my goodness, the stocking and the glove. And then you have the star. And um, this, this uh, right here is really for the garland because you have very long loops for either side of the garland. And then these are like connector pieces if you wanted to like connect you know these and depending on how short or long you wanted those connectors so that and then it came with other hooks one shorter than the other um, that I, in this example you can see I just made a little like ornament hook or this can be used as a tag and then the stocking came with all these options so the toe and the heel um, and you can also just cut out the stitched line here if you didn't want to um, actually put a felt piece on the toe or the heel, which would cut out all the stitch marks. So there's that option. They do a much better job of explaining it um, and showing examples. So then you have like decorative pieces like the tree and the star and this little argyle piece, and of course the cuffs for the um, mitten and for the stocking. So other things that I used were um, this, I had, they say to use a tapestry needle, but I guess I had forgotten that, so I used um, beading needles. Now the only reason I prefer like uh, those collapsible beading needles is because the eye is really big so when you're using embroidery floss this one i just got from joann's number 963 it's really hard to get in the eye of the needle so with a beading like a collapsible needle 
the, um, the eye is much bigger and when you pass it through the holes, it just collapses and lets the beads pass, you know, easily through. So anyway, this is the mitten. And the felt that I used is Autumn Rose, and I believe like a um, vintage, uh, whatever their white cardstock is, they have felt to match. So, but I believe this is actually vintage cream maybe for the felt. And then here I hand embroidered all the, um, or hand stitched all the um, argyle went back, then did the um, sequins and the tube, the um, bugle beads, and that's the result. And it's super cute. And you can even leave the cuffs off, you know, whatever you plan on doing with your, um, with your kit is, you know, super easy to put together. So then I, it, it actually is a lot easier than it looks, trust me. <laughs> so then I stitched you know, hand stitched all of that, did this, left this open so that, you know, you can put like little gifts. Um, I don't know if a gift card would fit in here, but like candy, candy canes, that kind of thing. And then this one, um, I think this is Aquamist, which is the felt. And then again, the, um, the one to match their cardstock. I don't know what their white is called. I forgot, but there's the hook. And then these here, this was my very first one, so I made a couple of little mistakes. Um, but it's super cute, and I stitched, of course, I don't like reading directions on anything, so <laughs> their tree came out a little differently. I just kind of did it from memory, from what I had seen on the website, um, because they make you put out like a PDF file. And uh, anyway, I just um, stitched and beaded my own little tree here. And then for the stump, I did what they had done, just the simple stitch. So again, I left the top open. And you can put, you know, whatever you want in there. Candy cane or, oh, look at that. <laughs> this one is just going to be a little ornament because I guess I had stitched through. <laughs> See, this was the first one I did, but... Anyway, if you're interested, um, it, the kit is a little pricey, I have to say, but it's free shipping, and for all that you get, um, it's super cute for uh, ornaments and, you know, little gift tags and even little carry-all, like, gift, like a gift bag, you know, if you wanted to put some um, candies and, like, a gift card in there. So, but anyway... Um, yeah, I thank you for stopping by and um, leave me a comment or if you have any questions, um, I'd be happy to help you. Um, and I hope you uh, enjoyed the share. Bye.